who has given us the grace once again to be in his presence. I'm reading from Psalm 29. He said, give unto the Lord, O ye mighty. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Then in verse 2, he said, give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Tonight, I want us to spend these few minutes to appreciate the King of Kings. To appreciate him because he's the Lord of Lords. He's the almighty God. He's the one that's been sustaining us. He's the one that's been taking good care of us. He's the one that's been watching over us in the day and the night. Both we and our family members, your wife, your husband, your children, your acquaintances, your relation, your business, your academics, everything that we lay our hands upon. We want to say, Father, thank you. Please, can we open our mouth to appreciate God this night? Open your mouth and give him all the praises. Today is Sunday, the day of the Lord, the day of resurrection, the day of power, the day of honor, the day of glory. It's a sanctified day. It's a special day of all the days. Why don't you open your mouth? It, it's a day with significance. It's a day with great, great significance. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. I want to hear us praying, brethren. I'm not hearing it's like our voices are too low. Let's open our mouth and give all the praises to God tonight. Let's adore him because he's the almighty God. Let's give him all the praises tonight. Let's set God a mortal God, everlasting Father God. Lord, I want to thank you. God, I want to appreciate you because you are the almighty. Lord, beyond every reasonable doubt, you have proved yourself that you are God. In every situation, in every circumstance, all over the world, everywhere, both in heaven, on earth, beneath the earth, God of heaven, you have proved yourself so greatly and so mighty. And so, Father, once again, we have come to adore you tonight. We have come to magnify you tonight, O oh God, because of the excellency of your power, the excellency of your wisdom, of your majesty, O oh God. My Father, once again, we praise you. To whom shall we liken you, O oh God? To whom shall we compare you with, O oh God? There is none that can be compared unto you. You are the God that does wonders in heaven and even on earth, O oh God. Almighty God, everlasting Father, we praise you. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. He is Lord. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Hallelujah, oh, every knee must bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ he is Lord. I say he is Lord. He is Lord. Please sing it. Sing it out. Oh, yes. He is Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, every day shall Every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. We want to appreciate God tonight, brethren. I want you to look back at all that God has done for you. Forget about all the things you are still asking for now. I'm asking for money, asking for this, asking for that. Look at what he has done for you. Think about this online prayer meeting. Do you know one of the things that the devil fights most is prayer? 
if we, he want to ensure that there is no prayer in our churches, he want to ensure that there is no prayer in the families, he want to ensure that the fire of prayer go to zero level, because he knows where the pray where there is prayer and there is word of God being preached, you know, in total. He knows he has no place in such a, in such a place, and so he's trying to fight against it. And by the grace of God. We started this online prayer meeting for quite some time now. The Lord has been our sustainers. The Lord has been the one that has been helping us. That's the one we can say. What about GCK? That God has been helping our father to follow up down to the Philippines. Now, it's, it's very soon, he will be on his way. I think uh, United Arab Emirates. And, uh, you know, we want to say, Father, thank you so much for the demonstration of your power. Look at thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people that gave their life to Jesus Christ, even in Philippines. During this crusade, we want to say, Father, thank you. The man of God is doing all everything to ensure that souls get into God's kingdom. We want to praise God and say, Father, thank you once again for our Father in the Lord. Thank you for all the leaders who are supporting him on every side. Let's give all the praises unto our God. Please open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and, up, and appreciate for our salvation. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the sacrifice of your son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for salvation. Thank you, Lord. God, Jesus. let's give him all the praises and say, do not begin to appreciate. Thank you for the hope you have. Appreciate God and say, Father, thank you so much because of. Open your mouth and worship the Lord. Open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Right. Open your mouth and give you. Thank you for the opportunity to get together, even online, on Zoom, to pray and to encourage one another. Lord, we thank you. We praise you. Yes, Lord, we see our thanksgiving. We see. Open your mouth and give him all the glory. And you are our sustainer, Lord. Yes. You In Jesus' Lord. name, we are prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I'm hearing only one voice. I want a better amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Bless you. Now, we put on the platform that we'll be considering just maybe about one or two verses of the scriptures. And it's very, very important that we quickly look at it okay. before we pray. Right, right, I'm reading so from Psalm 27, Psalm 27, yeah, verse 12. Psalm 27, yeah, yeah, verse 12. Please, if you have your Bible there, and if you don't have, I'm going to read it to our ears. This was the prayer of David, the servant of God, the man of God. If you understand whom David is, whom David was, he was a man after God's own heart. He, he occupy a special place in the heart of the Almighty God, meaning that he walked with God, he had the Spirit of God, he's a man that God so much trusted, you know, he's a man that depended so much upon God, he, will, he cannot do anything without consulting God, a man after God's own heart. But he had his own trouble, he had so many challenges left and right, he had so many opposition coming from Saul, coming from his household, coming from Absalom, coming from people around, coming from the enemy nation. Challenges were everywhere for him. But look at the prayer he prayed. In verse 12, Psalm 27, verse 12, he said, Deliver me not. Please get it right, brethren. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies. Please take note of that thing. Enemies. Enemies in plural. He's been pluralized there because the enemies that, were, that confronted him, they were many. The Amalekites were there. The Philistines were there. The Jebusites were there. The Gagashites were there. People of other nations, they were there. What about his own household? Battles within, battles without. But all in all, David had to pray this prayer. He said, God, all I'm asking from you is that God, God deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies. Let me tell you, brethren, tonight. The will of the enemy is that you will not live long. 
The will of the enemy is that you will not, you will not survive the heat of the day. The will of the enemy is that your, you and your family will not have a means of comfort or consolation or means of livelihood. The will of the enemy is that in our journey, as we journey along, we will not be able to, uh, you know, to continue. Maybe that, that's why you see some people along the line, they backslid, so many things happen. That's, that's what the enemy wants to achieve. He wants to make sure that they backslide. He wants to make sure that they do not get to heaven eventually. That's the will of the enemy. Just like what we consider this, this morning in our study scriptures. You know how uh, Balaam tried to persuade uh, Balaam by all means so that it can cause the children of Israel. But think, come to think about it. That is the will of the enemy. He wants to invoke cause, causes upon those Israelites unknown to them, unknown to they themselves. How many places where they have taken our names to, to the shrine of the devil. Look at what happened to that Bela. Just like what our brother that led the prayer brother for, that led us yesterday, told us seven altars. You can imagine. Seven strange altars were built so that they can invoke curses upon the children of Israel. Do you know where they have taken your name to? Whether into the river, whether to the shrine of the enemy, whether in one thing or the other, and they are calling your name secretly where you are sleeping and all that. That is the plan of the enemy, to terminate one's life prematurely. And that is why we are going to pray. That's why you have to pray for yourself. That's why you have to pray for your wife. That's why you have to pray for your children. That's why you have to lift up holy hand to God and say, God, deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies. You want to open your mouth and pray this night. You want to tell the Lord, open your mouth and begin to pray. The time has come for us to really seek the face of God. Please open your mouth and call upon you and say, God, I am here Father tonight. Father heaven will come before you. Deliver me not over unto the will of my enemy. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord and ask we God and say, because God, God, beside you there is no order. In this journey. All right, just so Lord, God, God will worship you. Deliver me not over Father, unto the will of my enemies. You. Enemy that doesn't want you to we see the light of the, the day. Privilege to know you to and to be me. one of your enemy own at this want time. To to my Lord, we pray. We adore you. Say God, the Father, we reference you. Say glory, honor, the Lord. Thank you for your name, O Lord. Open your mouth and ask God this night. Thank you for the word that you gave me. Thank you for the children that you gave me. Let's and open our mouth and begin to pray. And amen in the life. Oh, let's Father call upon the Lord. It's time to pray. It's time to pray for God with our heart. Do you know the you brother, worship the Lord. We thank you for the great things you are doing in our lives. To open your mouth, ever give you all the honor, Lord. We give you all the adoration, Lord. In the name of Jesus, enemies of our time, enemies that would allow us to be able to move up. Lord, that the men of this world can say, God of heaven, O God, give us the glory. To the will of my. God, Lord. open your mouth and begin to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, on Jesus that you gave to death for all. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I hope you understand the prayer request I've just given. Some of us are just coming up. It appears as if probably maybe we are because of the activities of the day. Maybe we're exhibiting a kind of tiredness or weariness. Or whatever. But I, want to, I want you to shake off all the weariness and the tiredness within and without. Shake it up tonight. Because this prayer, it will go a long way to help us. I want you to understand, one of the enemies that confronted David was Goliath. Goliath of God. If you look at the description of you will agree with me that really this man was a giant indeed. And the Bible gave the dimension. The Holy Ghost gave us all the description about him. His height, the cubit, everything. In fact, or even the weaver's beam, everything that he carried. The word, the word of God made us to understand. You know that the same thing is happening to believers today. They are being confronted by the giant, by the Goliath of this generation. That's why we are praying tonight and say, God, look at your family. Look at your family lineage. 
Look at your maternal you know, uh, lineage. Look at your, your paternal lineage. Look at what is happening there. Somebody will be somebody somewhere in the family. Either affliction is always there. One particular ailment that is you know coming upon one people or the other, one person to the other person to the other person to the other person. And before you know it, they cannot make progress in life. You are going to tell the Lord. We are going to pray to God. Lord, God, the that is patient, they change our life, wanting to oppress us, wanting to pin us down, wanting to hinder us from making progress in, in our journey. You want to say, God of heaven, oh God, Lord, silence every Goliath, oh God, that has risen against our life. Open your mouth and begin to Father pray. And heaven all the come before the throne of mercy. Us to the family, I pray the that God. every Goliath, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, the name of the Lord, against my Goliath, every Goliath of my mother's house, every Goliath of my mother's house, every Goliath of my mother's house, deliver me. Deliver me, Father, from the Goliath of my mother's house. Deliver me from the Goliath of my mother's house. Deliver me, O God, in every trouble. O God, deliver me from all my troubles. Deliver me from the enemy that is day and night. Deliver me, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, I trust God. I feel that you are around. Deliver me, O God. By your friend, by your friend, in the name of Jesus. O God, deliver me. By love, but come on, be level. The Goliath of God, come be stronger than I. Deliver me over from the world that is stronger than I. Deliver me over from every work of the devil. Deliver me from every work of the devil. Deliver me over in the name of Jesus. I pray, O God, that you will deliver me. O God, deliver me, O God. 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 O God, in our workplaces, they are there. They, as long as you are there, one of my students was telling me, he said, oh, he was talking about somebody that was just being uh, removed from the workforce. And the, the guy was telling me, he said, from my mouth I got to know. He said, for a long time, this woman is anti-Christian. She hates Christian. Like, she hates Christian like, as Peter, that when you even mention Christian, you'll be looking for every means to get rid of you, of you. And that's exactly what I've seen. And there are so many enemies in our workplaces like that. They want you to lose your job. They want you to be out of the place. They want to play politics. They are enemies like Absalom. They are, they are so, they are so uh, over ambitious. And they are looking for every means. What can we do to bring down this person? That's why David prayed. He said, deliver me not over unto the will of my enemies. In the family where we are, there are agents of darkness that are there. In your family line, they are there in the village. They are there in the city. They are there in the town. And they want to keep on afflicting the family. Either to keep the family in perpetual one, kind, one particular sickness or, in, you know, either poverty or penury. We are going to ask God, Lord, the time has come. Deliver me not over unto the will of the enemy. Don't allow the will of the enemy to prevail over my soul. Don't allow Father. the will of the enemy to prevail over my family. Don't allow the will of the enemy to prevail in my workplaces. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your Father, mouth and begin to pray tonight. Oh Lord, I pray the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, I pray that you are right. Keep me open for all people. Who do not pray? Do not allow the will of my enemy. The desire of my enemy is not going to have me. Pray over me to conquer me in the name of Jesus. Holy Father, I pray that the desire of my enemy will not be fulfilled in my life. The desire of powers of darkness will not be fulfilled in my life. The 
But before we do that, I want us to sing this song again. I don't know, it's a Yoruba song. Shadow for me, oh, You are going to pray to God tonight and say, God, that song says, have mercy upon me. You are going to ask God as we enter this new week, the mercy of God will speak on our behalf. The mercy of God begin to speak into our situation. Oh Lord, in you come before your of your, family, of your personal life, either spiritually, Father, physically, to mercy start to speak for us. Your mouth begin to pray to God. To and say, God, let me begin to speak on my behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord tonight. Let's ask God and say, Father, once again, oh God. Let your mercy, O oh God, speak on our behalf tonight. In the name of God. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Father and heaven, come before you to say, let your mercy speak for us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Amen. I want to hand over to Pastor Ali to take over. Please, Pastor Ali, can you please come up now? Oh, okay, uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you so much. We will still continue that prayer as uh, leader has been us. The Lord will not deliver us into the week of our enemy. But before that, I want to briefly, because it's Pastor's prayer meeting, um, in Pastor's prayer meeting, iron supplement iron. Before we, we learn about death, a man of prayer who was a prayer warrior. And to be a prayer warrior, a, a, a prayer warrior is, a, 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 is defined as a person who is effectively committed to prayer for the need of others. He has spiritual matters, engaging in spiritual work here through prayer. Those are the prayer, those are the characteristics of David, a prayer warrior. He prays seven times in a day. And here are some of the qualities that you need to understand, to understand, to know, to, to, to know, to be a prayer warrior that David had. Number one, David had a deep spirituality. He's not shallow. A deep spirituality, a man of prayer, is characterized by a strong, deep, rooted, spiritual connection to his faith. Number two, he's compassionate. As pastors, as ministers, we must be compassionate. If we want to grow, if we want to make progress in our ministry, there must be we must be compassionate as well. And pray for the need of others so that we there will be there must be commitment to intercession. Commitment to intercession is to activate, we should engage in interceding prayers, trying to the gap for others and bring you the need before. Before God Almighty, and 
we, we releasing blessing upon those who we are praying for. Sit with in our children. I'm telling you, as ministers, we must be a prayer champion. Not just praying and praying and praying, but not only prayer, we are not just be a prayer champion. It's a prayer set. But prayer for a prayer set. Amen. Age of knowledge of scriptures and uh, men of prayer. We are not knowledgeable in scripture. That means we are not. Good. That means we are not. We, we are not developing. That means we are not growing. That is the case. God has not made us to pass the prayer warrior as we pray. We use the Bible, the body of God, to support what we are praying about. In my fight, David had a heart of spiritual work. He was a worker. He was a man of prayer. He had a heart of spiritual work. The prayer warrior is complete. Said this man work. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is what we are trying to say. That a man of prayer, he must be engaged in spiritual warfare. And I, this is going to be to another thing. This, this, this. Our prayer online. Let's all admit that here now. Those who are on Saturday, Monday, Sunday, and all that. Listen to me. Our prayer online is not five people prayer. The brain while it's coming up, maybe there's a network problem. I want us to commit ourselves into the hand of the Lord that God will reinforce us, the Lord will strengthen us, it will make us the instrument we want us to be, a worthy instrument in His hands. Yeah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, maybe there's a network problem. Praise the Lord. We are listening. We are with Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. Can, you hear you? Okay. can you hear us? Hello? Can you hear us? Yeah, can hear you. Is Hello, Pastor Ali. Okay, I think there's a little challenge there. Okay. Let's keep on praying to the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. The Apostle said, but we give ourselves continually unto prayer and unto the ministry of the world. Let's pray that the Lord will actually give us the spirit of prayers and supplication, the spirit of intercession, the spirit of prayer. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Pastor Ali, are you on? Are you on? Okay. Are you on now? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, uh, praise, praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you so much. Now, I want to I want to make some emphasis on this area. Okay, our prayer online, our prayer online, should be a prayer of God. It's not a Bible study prayer meeting we are having. It's a program. All our meetings in our online is a program. So we are not as to be having Bible study, dream, dream, dream uh, prayer on, on Saturday or on Monday. Or Thursday, is people we put over with their talent. We tell people to go with their problem. Just like we have in the day. So, prayer program is not a Bible study program. Prayer meeting, prayer uh, program online is not a meeting that we call for life study, we call for uh, that's great and God. No, 
is a time people come with challenges to spiritual battle. They are about to lie. And they are coming to the battle for, for, for solution. It's not a time to be cooking and then be employed to do the Bible study. It's a time of war here. It's a time of destroying and overthrowing. It's a time of releasing the church. It's a time of bringing them from captivity. That is what we are called to do as a class of the gospel. So, all our listeners should take note of this. Those of us officiating on Saturday, thank God for the father of Saturday yesterday. I was still blessed because the prayer delivers to Mr. You want to listen to other people out of their ministry. I, I received a revelation through what he said yesterday. You understand? He talk about embodiment and also a demon. That if a demon possess somebody's embodiment, he become a witch, become a demon, a spiritual. It's, 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 is, 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 is spiritual and is biblical. What he says. So if you are coming for all life we are meeting, it's no a time for Bible study. So the time that uh, let's pray that God will, God will, God will uh, bless our enemies. God will. No, it's a time that people have challenges, spiritual battles. People there that forget about the powers of God is entering there. To you, by God's grace, I've been this for more than nine years. And when I started in this platform, I first started all the Bible study, prayer meeting, and all that. Somebody called me and said, Brother, he said this prayer meeting. He said, and I, I listen with what he was saying. I listen with him. And it is, it is true. Because even though we are born again, there are people that have challenges, real challenges. And it is only spirit programmed like this that can dismantle all those challenges out of the line. I pray may God give all the ministers the, the, the wisdom. And may God keep on our means that we understand it or know that we are called as a intercessor to start. This is all life program. It's not a Bible study or a, a revival. No, it's a type of program. And people that have prayer program, mm-hmm. that is what they focus on. That's what they, that is their focus. Why do you talk about salvation? You pray in pain. The aspect of believing there, the nature of the ignorance of Toby. Compared to every, every book of the devil, but the minister should be a man of prayer. It should be a man of prayer. Secret prayer, prevailing prayer, and also engage in the spiritual warfare. May God give us understanding for all ministers. So, by the grace of God, we will be able, like David, who pray, do not deliver to the hand of my enemy. David prays several times in a day. But, but, or not, he prays every day. He pray. Twelve pray. Three he pray. He pray round the clock. Babalola. He pray round the. This man went to the mountain to go and pray. A python flew over him. The python dry and died. He was a man of prayer. Doctor, pastor, the player Fubu. He was a man of prayer in all the Gada. Every one PM, he must go inside a sheep house of pray. He said, if you come for counseling, forget about it. That man of God for two will spend that hour with Jesus. Thanks, you need to come. I, I, I will say it's men you. and bread. That's of all. What are we what what is the foundation of our prayer life? We should be a sheep. But the special grace of God, we be able to be the deliverer of God that ordained for us. And they cannot speak spiritually. Please, please, you are to go to your chamber. So by the Lord, God Almighty, we make us to be effective as like, like David was effective, the warrior, you must be effective. Thank God for Pastor Shelby. I brought Pastor Shelby to this platform because I know that he's a prayer warrior from Central Church Baghdad. He has been a prayer warrior for St. Patrick Jagada. And people have brought, brought in those kids to this paper. I know they are prayer, prayer people. So what am I saying? Let's keep it. If we are coming for our program, we know we are coming for battle, not by this body. And I thank God for all the, especially on Saturday, the brother came on Saturday, thank God for him. It has really been, been, been on it. I mean, God keep on the the wisdom, the knowledge, the power, the energy, and the fire to continue to get this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Over to, uh, thank you for the time you give to me to. Was he calling me today? I thought he had. I swear.
the of my heart. I will share this with the, with, the, with the prayer. Let's embark in prayers, secret prayers. Let's intercede. And when we're coming for program, we are coming for four years. We are coming for mobile. It's not five years. It's a program. It will not help us to understand what we are eating. Thank you, Pastor. Over to you, Pastor Shedu. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm not hearing us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have some prayer requests before I hand over to Pastor Matthew. We have some prayer requests online on our prayer request uh, platform. And I just want to read a few of those prayer, uh, you know, prayer requests that we have there. Somebody wrote just a few minutes ago, and actually the person said we should pray that he's been very, very sick, uh, that he wants us to pray that the power of God will take away every sickness out of his life, out of his body. I want us to pray for that individual that every sickness in his life, in his body, in his system, the mighty hand of God will flush everything out of the life of that individual. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray for that individual, please? Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask God. The person said he has been on medication and yet there is no difference, there is no change. Let's pray that the power of God will roll away every affliction of the enemy, every sickness in his body, every sickness in his brain, every sickness in the bloodstream. Let everything be flushed out by the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask God and say, God, visit this individual, O God, by your mighty power. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying, brethren? Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's go and say, God, that the mighty supernatural hand of God will take away every sickness out of his body now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Are we hearing my voice? In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to pray. Another writer said, this one was sent directly to my, to my box. He said, I want God to help me register my business with NAVDAC and increase my sales so as to enable to pay my bills and buy a good phone. In other words, actually that sister has been one of us very well before. It's always, always regular, always and always regular. But due to maybe financial constraints, she, I mean, at the time she lost her phone, and uh, since then she has not been featuring. I uh, personally have contacted her, and uh, she wants us to pray that God will turn, there will be a turnaround in our business, and that the Lord will breathe upon that business. The Lord will bless the work of our hands. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray for sister? Let's open our mouth and begin to pray to God that the Lord, many people are willing to join, but they have some challenges confronting them that have been hindering them from really, uh, you know, joining. We want to pray that the mighty hand of God will begin to bring, will begin to prevail and begin to help them, help our sister. The Lord will bless the work of our hands. All the desire of our heart will be granted unto her in the name of Jesus Christ, especially as you want to register this business. With Navdak, the Almighty God will grant unto us special favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, we appreciate you tonight. Thank you so much for all that you have done. We give you all the praises. We give you all the adoration. We pray, Lord, that you accept all our praises in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, all the requests that have been tabled before you tonight. Lord, I pray that you grant speedy answers to all our requests tonight, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. 
For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Please over to Pastor Matthew. We will call upon the name of the Lord. Ezekiel asked, God asked Ezekiel, can this de dead bone, can they rise up again? Ezekiel surely tell God, you are the one that know. And then uh, Ezekiel should totally, that if God said, the dead bone should rise up again, they will surely rise. He will call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, as Isaiah said, I am in humility, send me. He let him know that not by power, not by mighty, but by the grace of Almighty God. He will call upon the name of the Lord. Yeah, I am in the center of Nigeria. Yeah, I am in the center of my family. Yeah, I am on behalf of my wife. Yeah, I am on behalf of my husband. Here I am on, my, on behalf of my children. King of God, King, Lord of Lords, send me, O oh Lord. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. If on behalf of myself, call upon the name of the Lord, Father, send me. We can see what our the, the leaders, our pastor, refer to. When you see those leaders, we see the impact of prayer in their lives. When we see ourselves, we see the impact of prayer in our life. That's why the Yoruba people say, after all, if you want to give somebody a cloth, they will ask you, they will look at you, which kind of dress are you putting on? All of the name of the Lord, the Almighty Father. I renew my strength, I renew my power. I renew my everything you are giving to me in the blood of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, I, I resurrender myself. As our Please leader said, there is the nothing you can do without the prayer. Man. Call upon Lord. the name of the Lord by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, here I am. Send me. When Lord. I close, it should be closed. Oh when God. I open, it should be open. When I declare it is no, it is me no. When I declare it is yes, it will be it will be yes. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Let my life have impact in the life of others. Let the word of my mouth have impact in the life of others. Let the activities of my life have impact in the life of others. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Father, Isaiah said. Here I am, send me. It is not by power. It is not by your mighty. It is not by my mighty. It is not by the mighty of any of our leaders. Thank God for all the encouragement. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Tell them that they have done their own. It is for all to accept what they have said. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, here I am. Send me, O oh Lord. Send me, 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 oh Lord. If it is your wish, the Almighty God is go is there to use you. The mighty hand of the Lord is there to use you. The glory of the Lord is there to use you. Call upon the name of the Lord, Father. Use me, O Lord. In this prayer meeting, Father, use me, O Lord. In all the all other activities, Father, use me, O Lord. In my family, Father, use me, O Lord. In my own personal life. Father, use me, O Lord. In the life of my wife, Father, use me, O Lord. In the life of my husband, Father, use me, O Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Yeah, I am. I surrender myself, O Lord. I surrender myself, O Lord. I can't hear you praying. I can't hear you praying. I can't see you praying. I can't hear your voice. Yes. In every day, is it time to be to to re empower yourself to to re I mean to re to re deep 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 I mean uh, what is it is it uh, 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 to baptize yourself in the, in the blood of Jesus Christ again? Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the blood of Jesus Christ. All this atrocity. 
Oh, this witness. Oh, this uh, uh, this one oh, is this. Lord, this this one is this. That is taking away my power in prayer. That do not let Lord, people Lord, see me Lord, as Lord, a man Lord, of prayer. Lord, that do Lord, not Lord. let me see myself as a man of prayer. Call upon the name of the Lord. King of King, Lord of Lord, remove it from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever be the dead bone in my life, whatsoever be the dead bone in the life of my wife, Whatsoever be the dead bone in the life of that. my husband, whatsoever be the dead bone in the life of my colleague, whatsoever be the dead bone in my ministry, oh mighty Father, I come with all humility, I come with all opinion, and I come with all no complaint. Father, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, reinvest your promise in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Reinvest your promise in my, in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Reinvest your promise in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible let me know when it is being open in heaven, when I've been frozen in the heaven, uh, uh, this act is in the frozen heaven. The Bible let me know. When I open it, it on earth, it will be open in it will be it will, it will be open in the, in the heaven. Why I cross it on earth in the first heaven? Why, oh Lord, why, oh Lord, why, oh Lord, I cannot see the impact in my prayer life. Call upon the name of the Lord, Father, Father from S spot by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ as I open my mouth. As I open my mouth, people will be coming to Jesus Christ. As I open my mouth, the things that the binding people will be, they are going to be loose in the name of Jesus Christ. As I open my mouth, oh my dear Father, people will be coming to Jesus Christ. As I open my mouth, everything people have been asking for, just because I say in the name of Jesus Christ, and the name of Jesus Christ comes from my mouth. People will be repenting in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, empower me. Lord empower me. Lord empower me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.